Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tip for Betting Tips. Um, I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you enjoyed the racing out at Gravel. It's nice that we got night racing back and we can have some fun with that. Uh, the kids' best bet, uh, Caramel Fudge, won um, nicely for us at 15 to 10. So that was fantastic from the kid. Um, and we're going to have the postman tipping out at Turfontaine. Um, just excuse me, guys, I've got a heavy, heavy bad cold, but um, we soldier on and we keep putting out the content for you guys. So I'm going to hand you over to the postman that's going to be tipping out at Turfontaine, and here's the postman. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, no matter where in the world you guys are. A big warm welcome again to the Top Tipper family, and racing comes to us on Saturday, 26th of November, we from Turfentaine, the Stansard track. The big day is upon us, and that is the Summer Cup. Before we get on to that, guys, on Thursday, we didn't have a bad day at all. We got some of the pick six. We caught both jackpots, um, buy pot, PA, everything. Um, buy pot and PA didn't pay much. But the jackpots were worth it. We took our selections. We threw things in the pick six, as I said, and we got a cut from that. So very, very nice results. And I hope you guys got some of that as well. Ten races carded for Saturday. First race off nice and early at 11.30. Guys, please take note. There was a hell of a lot of rain fall on Friday evening um, around about 5.30 it stopped raining um, I know there is rain forecast again for tomorrow afternoon so please guys when um, putting your perms together please 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 just bear that in mind we have had some rain I don't know how much is going to dry up um, overnight um, and rain expected tomorrow so the first race drew off at 11.30 Male and juvenile plate, um, over 800 meters scurry. Guys, I've heard nothing here, and my selections are purely on breeding. And my first selection here will be horse number six, move on over. Richard Faree for Mike de Kock. Um, I think he's drawn on the right side of the track as well. And this uh, daughter of Karari, I think is really, really well bred. And on breeding, again, we've got to watch her go down. She would be my first uh, selection for second I've gone for number two Zenovi this is a stable companion written by Randall Simons and again this son of heavenly blue again very very well bred for third guys we've gone for horse number seven and this is ripple effect Louis Ottawa for the fortune yard um, again nasty bred daughter of erupt and for fourth, we've thrown in horse number five, Heirloom, Gabriel Peterson for Robin Clarson. Again, guys, um, personally, I think one should stay out here. Um, I don't get involved in the juveniles. We can let them run and we can take it uh, later. But if you're having a bet, obviously watch them go down and see if there's any support for any of them. We move on to the second race on the card. This is due off at 12.05. This is the first leg of our bipod. I think it's a carryover bipod, if I'm not mistaken. So just have a look at that. Um, this is a maiden plate over 1160 meters. Guys, I'm not um, over enthusiastic about those that have run. You know, there's some fair form, but they've had their chances. And my first section here is a first timer. I'm going for horse number 13, Celtic Rumors. Carving a bib for the Terry Yard. Um, this daughter of this and Jeterix, really, really, really well bred. Um, and I'm going to have a look at this one go down. If this is looking well, I certainly will have a touch on the nose there. For second, I have gone for one of the horses that have run. This horse number seven, Melech uh, Mozieni for the Magna Yard. This ran a decent second behind uh, Fosinova. Fosinova came out and won uh, for us on Thursday. And again, certainly must be in with a shot for third i have gone for another first time here horse number 14 civil princess um king in for johan janser van furen 
This is the daughter of Daniel Boone, again, well-bred. The word on the street is this one can really, really run. Um, dogs are barking. The reason I've got this one third, I think, is drawn on the wrong side of the track. However, I'm certainly not going to leave this one out my bipod. For fourth, we've gone fourth number four, Fish Eagle, Richie Faree for Clinton Binder. Also one run, decent effort behind Foster Nova. And again, um, I think drawn on the wrong side of the track. However, if it has not rained up until this uh, first egg of the bye part, I'm going to put all four selections in. I'm going to go 13, 7, 14, and 4. If we've had the rain, um, definitely going to go 13 um, and maybe the 7. So have a look at them going down. Have a look to see if there's any support for the first-timers. And if there's rain, guys, as I said, um, outside draws up the straights. We move on to the third race. First leg of our place accumulator, draw off at 12.40. This is a pinnacle stakes over 1,400 metres. Um, I think this is a little more uh, competitive than the betting suggests. And my narrow first section here is horse number two, Castleton. Cabello Mazziani gets in the ride here for Stewie Pettigrew. Um, this one has run in the wet before. He's a second run after a rest. Um, I'm certainly looking at the form and saying two lengths to William Robertson, beat Barney's Pride. Um, my narrow first selection and inclusion in all my um, swingers Trifectors, exactors. For second, I have gone for horse number 10. And this is Bon Vivant. Keegan de Mello gets the ride here for Johan Janser van Furen. This will beat Midnight Gem well last time out. Um, found a lot extra. Um, nicely drawn at 3, 53 on, on its back. And again, this filly should certainly give the boys something to think about. For third, I've gone for horse number 6. And this is another level. Muzieni for the Dawson Yard. Again, the form is there for all of us to see. I'd be more positive if this one is drawn better, but certainly can uh, run on and fill in one of the minor spots. For fourth, I have gone for horse number four. Team Gold, Ray Danielson for the Magna Yard. I'd certainly think that this is worth throwing into the back end of trifectas and quartets. Um... If this one looks well going down, guys, I will even look at throwing this one in my exactors. So the third race, I've gone 2, 10, 6, and 4. And I think it's more open than the betting market suggests. We move on to the fourth race on the card. This is due off at 13, 20. Um, this is the Magnolia Handicap. It's a grade 3 over 1160 meters for the girls. And... My first selection and a strong first selection here yeah, is horse number two, Sweet Pepper. Calvin Habib retains a ride here yeah, for the Terry Yard. Um, last time out was first run back from a layoff, um, was not disgraced. And I certainly think that this one will strip a lot fitter. And I think that this is certainly the horse to beat. Um, after that, guys, I think it becomes a little more, a little tricky. For second, I have gone for the five. Nice roughy here. This is uh, Sasha away. Uh, Richie Faree gets the ride here for Peter Musket. I certainly don't think Peter is going to send this horse up to Gauteng to look at the weather. And again, um, certainly if you're taking pick sixes, throw the five in. For third, I've gone for the unbeaten horse four, Gobsmacked. King Demela for the Van Furen yard. Um, again, one should be punting this one until it gets beat. Um, must be included in everything um, but I think it will be difficult to beat our first selection of horse number two. For fourth, guys, I have gone for horse number 10. And this is uh, Miss Cool, uh, Mozieni for the Dawson Yard. We go back and we look, um, beating Union Square, beating Little Miss Sunshine. Um, if it's wet, I certainly think this one will go really, really close. So in the fourth race, two, five, four, and ten. I think two is a very good bet. And then the others you can throw in 
for trifectas and quartets. For bigger perms, if you're taking uh, pick sixes and you want to throw in a roughie, throw in horse number three, kissing point. We move on to the fifth race on the card, off at 13.55. This is the Merchants Grade 3, over again, 1160 meters. And in the fifth race, guys, um, I've got another pretty confident selection. Yeah, this is horse number 11, Moon Shining Through. Uh, King in the Mello gets, gets a ride here for the Johan Janssen van Furen Yard. Um, this one is unbeaten course and distance. Beat Desert Miracle last time out. And I have no reason to suggest that this one is going to get beat by Desert Miracle. And I make this my first selection. For second, gone for Nassau Ruffia. Host number four, full velocity. Gavlerina for the Terry Yard. Um, again, has really, really decent form. Must be included in all exotics. For third, I have gone for the ultra-consistent horse three, Desert Miracle. Samanga Kamala for Mike de Kock. Again, this will jump. It will be up there. I think it is drawn on the right side. Um, cannot be left out of um, your exotics. For fourth, guys, we've gone for horse number two. And this is Sound of Warning. Richard Ferry for Sean Terry. Richard has ridden it before, finishing third to Master Archie and second to Winter Smoke. Um, certainly, certainly, certainly good enough to run into the back end of trifectas and quartets. So race five, we've gone 11, 4, 3, and 2. We move on to the six race of card. You're off at 14.30. This is the Dingons Grade 2 for three olds over 1,600 meters. Um, I've been waiting for this race for a long, long time. My first selection here, and a narrow first selection, is horse number seven. And this is Union Square. Randall Simons for Mike de Kock. Nasty drawn at one. Last time out finished fourth behind Anfield's Rocket. Was slow, was running on. Um, was drawn 15 out of 16. And I really, 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 really think that this will go very, very close. My second selection here is horse number nine. This is a stable companion and I think top of the boards. Shoemaker Richard Free for Mike de Kock. Finished second to Anfield's Rocket. Again, had no luck in the running. Um, but is drawn wide again. And for that reason, I think Union Square is the right one. For third, I have gone for one of the horses from our stable here in uh, KZN. And that would be horse number three, Royal Victory. It's the manga Kamala for Nati Cotson. Finished third behind Anfield's Rocket uh, last time out. If this was drawn in the top five, I promise you I would say um, one can put their head down and have a go on Royal Victory. I think it's a really, really decent sort. Um, only thing against it for me is the wide draw. But I'm certainly throwing this one in trifectas, quartets, swingers and exactors. I won't be leaving this out my pick six either. For fourth, guys, we've gone for horse number five. And this is... The other one of the Mike de Cox runners, East Coast, nicely drawn at three. Keegan de Mello gets the ride. Again, a form is there for all of us to see. And I think de Cox will have a decent uh, race. Um, and we've gone seven, nine, three, and five. And I'm going to take those numbers in trifectas and quartets as well. The seventh race, you're off at 15.35. This is the big one, the Grade 1 Summer Cup. Um, according to the weatherman, guys, by this time we should have uh, rain falling. My narrow first selection is horse number four, Sparkling Water. I think that this five-yard mare is really, really top sort. Samanga Kamalo um, has the ride for the Mike de Kock yard. Um, has to go close. Has to be included in everything. Nicely drawn at five. Um has had three runs in the wet for two wins. So if it's raining, certainly, certainly, certainly um, cannot leave this five-year-old mare out. For second, gone for a little bit of a roughy, yeah. Horse number seven, Nebras. Striker Australian for the Terry Yard. 
And the reason I'm going for no brass is if it's wet, um, this is a really, really testing course. And I certainly think the brass will be running on when others have cried enough. Um, I won't be leaving that one out, any of my exotics. For third, guys, I've gone for a nice rough here, 25 to 1 or 33 to 1. Horse 13, Light of the Moon. Diego de Gavea gets a ride here for the Bortus Forsley Yard. If we go and we look, second to Rain in Holland, less than a length, over 2,400 meters at this course. Um, on that run and that run alone, this one has to, has to, has to go close. And again, at a big, big price, maybe worth throwing into swingers and trifectas. Should this one run a drum, um, certainly, certainly will make everything pay. For fourth, I have thrown in horse number five. And this is safe passage. Muzieni on the other mic, the cock inmate. Um, Muzi gets on very, very well with this one. Um, was favourite to beat uh, Sparkling Water in the July. Finished three, just over three lengths behind Sparkling Water. And again, certainly, certainly worth throwing into the back end of trifectas and quartets. So race seven, guys. I've gone four, seven, thirteen, and five. I'm going to put all four in the pick six. The eighth race on the card, this is due off at 16.15. This is a Betway Epitombi Challenge, grade two, over 1,600 meters. And again, this is the second of my value bets. And I quite fancy horse number 12 here, give me a shot. Um, this is JP van der Merwe retaining the ride here for Mike and Adam Azzi. Go back and look at the rerun of its last start behind Miss Daisy came into this trade wide, was flying at the death, and I certainly think that this will go really, really close, and I think it will turn the tables on um, Miss Daisy. For second, I have gone for the nine, this is Feather Boa, again, ultra-consistent sort, Cabela Mazziani for Stewie Pettigrew, um, must be thrown into your exotics. For third, guys, I have gone for horse number five, and this is a nice roughie here. This is Perfect Witness. Gav Lavina for Candace Dawson. Um, ran under half a length behind Porto Mazzano. Has had decent efforts between Ren and Holland. And again, I certainly think a lot better than its last effort. For fourth, I've thrown in horse number two. Homely Girl, another roughie here. King in the Miller for Johan Janssen van Furen. And again, that last effort behind Bingo was a decent effort. Um considering it was drawn so wide and nicely drawn at three, must be included in back end of trifectas and court. We move on to the ninth race on the card. This is due off at 16.45. This is the ROA Stayers uh, listed event over 3,200 meters. Don't like this race at all. Um, putting as many as the budget would allow. Um, nobody wants to get out the last leg of the pick six. My narrow first selection would be horse five, Arumagun at Caden Brewer for the mowing yard. Um, won really, really well last time out over 2,400 meters. We know that the mowing yard can certainly get them to uh, win over ground. And again, is my narrow first selection. For second, I throw in horse number eight, the mayor flying first class. Gabello Mazziani gets a ride here for David Niverhazen. Gabello has won um, on this one over 2,600 uh, meters. And I think that this may, may fill in uh, one of the minor spots. For third, we've gone for horse number four, Motown Magic. Nathan Klink uh, retains a ride here for Mike the Cock. Last time I was staying on um, behind a room again. And again, I certainly think that this will give a decent uh, count of itself. For fourth, I have gone for horse number seven. Another roughie here. Great affair, J.P. van der Merwe for the Borant and Burtis and Yvette Fosslu yard. I go back and look at two lengths behind um, Arlington Action. One length behind Romeo's Magic. Seven lengths behind Airways Law. These are some decent, decent efforts. And again, carrying 52 in a small field. Um, and as I said, I don't like the race. I'm gonna, if I can put the field there, I'm going to do so and hope like 
how one of the roughies arrive. So the ninth race, five, eight, four, and seven. And again, don't like the race. Guys, we move on to the lucky last. This is race 10. And in race 10, this is your 17.15, merit rate to 84 handicap, over 1,800 meters. And in this uh, event, we find my best bet on the card. And I think that horse number seven, Tamaris Tree, um, is going to take a power beating. I certainly think it will stay the 1,800 meters the way it won last night. Um, would suggest so and as I said my strong first selection for second I have gone for number 9 this is Climate Control Randall Simons for Decock. again form is there for all of us to see a decent second behind Duke of Sussex um, and again good enough for one of the minor spots for third I've gone for number 5 good counsel Ryan Munger for Fortune uh, for the Fortune Yard has won 2 on a trot and again, good enough to fill in back end of trifectas and quartets. And for fourth guys, I've gone for horse number two, Leopold, kicking the Miller for Johan Janse van Furen. Has some fair form if we go back and we look. And again, I think that this may be good enough to fill in the back end of trifectas and quartets. Um, guys, I think that there are one or two decent sorts. Again, please just watch for the weather. Watch for betting on first timers. Um, watch for bias up the straight. Take it easy. Look after yourself. Stevie, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, the postman. We appreciate your time and effort you put in. I know you're very passionate about your horses and uh, you love your racing. I hope the guys that are listening also start loving their racing as much as we do. And remember, it's not only about the money, it's about the passion and um, the whole atmosphere with uh, regards to racing. Um the postman's tip to 10, 10 race program. His bar pots is PA, his jackpot one, jackpot two, and he's got a best bet, Tamarisk tree, and his two value bets, sweet pepper and give me a shot. So please, Lord, let them arrive for us and let our punters have some nice fun um, on a fantastic summer cup day out at Turfentain. So guys, all in all, enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.